Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? Is the market gonna crash? Hello everyone, and welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy, and Monday through Friday, we go over the latest news in housing, real estate, and the mortgage market. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. Believe it or not, it's June 1st already. And so that's crazy, but we have a lot going on on June 1st. I know the first thing that, I, that I'll talk about before we get jump into all these news articles is that the Fed now is gonna turn and start buying back or selling back bonds that they have been buying now for years and years and years. It's the beginning of it. Now, somewhere I predict that they'll stop doing it. They have like $95 billion worth they're supposed to sell off by the end of the year. We're gonna find out if that happens. I think it's gonna be fairly disastrous as we get into this, if we go month after month after month. But before we go into that in the next coming days, let's jump right into these news articles. First one is with CNBC. It says, it's inevitable home prices appreciation will slow in the coming months, says Lawrence Yoon. Lawrence Yoon is the National Association or NAR real estate econ economist that has been around for about 10, 15 years now. I always say that he states the obvious and he's stating the obvious here as well. Now we all believe that because of all the, the, the sentiment that's going on right now, which is very, very negative in the news and in social media, everywhere you go, people talk about this, this crash, this housing crash, the mortgage rates are going up. I don't think it's nearly as bad as what people are talking about. As I'm seeing it out there as a real estate agent and as my fellow real estate agents that I talk to all the time, I think we're going into a neutral or we're in a actual neutral kind of market. Neutral meaning it's not a buyer's market, it's not a seller's market, it's just in between. And it just depends on the area and the type of home that you're getting into is where we're seeing, you know, whether it be a seller's market, a buyer's market, or just being that flat neutral. Now we also know, and we can read in these articles, that new home builds are slowing down significantly. And as I've said in, in the past many, many times before, new home builds are about profit and loss. They're not about you know making affordable homes for people. So let's keep that in mind every time we look at these. The numbers are skewed to the negative because of the, the home builders and they're not building and they're not actually you know finishing projects. Next particular article here is from CNBC and there's been several of them today. Mortgage applications fall the lowest level since 2018, which is about four years. Yes, again, all this FUD that's going on right now is hurting the market. I think that you still have a strong buyer market and a strong seller market. It's just that the buyers are more finicky because the inflation doesn't look like it's being tamed whatsoever. And we'll get into that whole Biden Powell conversation, you know, meeting they had uh, here in a, in a minute, but that is part of what the confidence of people in the United States of whether it can be tamed over the next couple of months, which is the summer months, or it cannot be. And then next article here is home prices surged 20% in March as interest rates also rose. So we talked about this now several times. We've seen that this year, especially in the first quarter and in, and in a lot of the second quarter, we're seeing that 20% year over year price increases. It hasn't really stopped. And recently, I think we're gonna see a slowing of that, but I still think that we're going to have you know, higher values of your home if you bought it 12 months ago. It just isn't gonna raise on a 20% clip. Now, in the last three or four years, it's been raising anywhere from 18 to 25%, which has been kind of crazy. Anyone buying back, let's call it in 2018, you almost have doubled the price of your home. Insane to even think about, but that's what's been happening because of this hot housing market. And another, the other article that I mentioned earlier is about Biden in rare Powell meeting seeks to deflect inflation blame. Let's just be very frank with this conversation. You know, we're looking at higher, you know, gas prices on a daily basis. There just doesn't seem to be any type of idea or plan to make them any cheaper. And with higher gasoline and oil prices, it also deflects right into the the fertilizer market, which the fertilizer is for growing things, you know, growing fruits, vegetables, all all across the United States and all across the world. And if those prices go up, then food prices go up. And if food prices go up, it just, you know, the, the, 
cost of shipping those that food goes up because oil and gasoline this is and i and i i hate every time i hear that the government say oh we're doing everything we can no you kill the keystone pipeline the second that this administration came in and that keystone pipeline made american independent of the entire world and we could we could actually supply everybody here in the united states with oil as well as you know he cut down refineries and and he hasn't helped through that as well as you know some of the lease lands on at least federal lands you know drilling on those as well it's just all been this whole thing of you know i'm going to cut back cut back cut back and then the american public has been punished now i'm not here to make a political stand i'm just here to say that if we can open up the keystone pipeline inflation would be cut in half so when i hear you know, politicians tell me they're doing everything they can. That is garbage. That is complete garbage. That's how I feel. I know that there's some people out there saying, well, we're trying to make the world more green. It doesn't make sense to actually cut our production back, which is the most strictest on the environment, and then buy dirty oil from Venezuela or, you know, the Saudis. It's so much more dirtier than what we can produce that, that, you know, argument doesn't hold water whatsoever. We need to get us back into lowering, you know, the, you know, lowering inflation and to get these mortgage rates and the housing market back on track because there's plenty of you out there that don't want to be renters for the rest of your life or renters for the next year or two or three throwing away your money. We need to see this change and we need to see it change really quick. The last article here is Optimum Blue. These are the, the, Average rates across the United States. We're looking at the 30 year conforming again, uh, which is conventional 5.34. It ticked up, you know, seven basis points. You know, a 30 year fix also went up seven basis points. This was an anticipation of the, the Fed buying, you know, selling back the bonds in the bond market. Uh, we'll see what happens today. It can be a nightmare, you know, on the mortgage industry if they continue to go through and there's no one buying them because they just keep lowering and lowering, which then raises raises interest rates out there. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that the Fed kind of eases on their selling of these bonds, these treasuries, and it will be a kind of a soft landing. But if they go hardcore and try to, you know, get rid of, you know, $10 billion worth of these a month, it's really, really going to hurt us and it hurt these interest rates. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us. If you like the, like the content, please hit the like button. Otherwise, you know, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer any of your, your questions or actually, I'd love to see some of your statements. And as well, smash that subscribe button. We want to grow this, you know, get it out there, get this five or 10 minute video out there Monday through Friday. Get your news in on the mortgage and real estate market. Otherwise, guys, take care and I will see you tomorrow on Thursday.